I've learned is that we create with our thoughts and emotions and we become what we think about. Wealth is our birthright. You see, wealth is structural and I'm gonna teach you that today, not personal. After learning and practicing so many different things like mind-body connection, opening third eye, chakras, meditation, breath work, and LP, I had a breakthrough and, you know, as you shall receive, I release all my limiting beliefs and negative emotions, and I built a very powerful connection with my subconscious mind, and that opened the door to wealth creation for me. You see, most of my life, I felt like I was not good enough. Uh, when I had my breakthrough, I not 10x, but 100x my quality of my mind in my life. That's why I made it my mission to empower entrepreneurs so they can overcome their limitations and their self-doubt so they can create their wealth uh, they deserve. When you change on the inside, everything changes for you on the outside to reflect that change. So I want to share with you what I've learned over the 12 years going through this journey. I uh, got on the other side and uh, you know, learned to how to use my mind, rewire, reorganize my own brain and my thoughts and regulate my emotions. So what I'm about to share is fundamentals. Um, I have incorporated so many things into this. So neuroscience, metaphysics, human, human psychology, and it all on top starts with number one, spiritual vision. You need to be clear on how life intelligently designed you so you can bring forth your greatness. This is about your evolution as a human being, okay? Understanding how everything's connected and how, what, is that, what does that mean for you So you, you work while you're here, what you're here to do. As Napoleon Hill talks about, definite purpose. Well, this is where you get your definite purpose from. Most people make the mistake just creating business vision. It actually, it, it needs to be part of a bigger picture, which includes your business, your life, and your spiritual vision. Number two is burning desire. Napoleon Hill talks about this as well. Starting point for all achievement, right? Everything starts with a desire, doesn't it? And desire, what keeps us going, that energy that fuels that vision, that fire, that burning infinitely. Number three is resourceful states. And we, I'm gonna teach you that today. Number four, of course, action plan, but not any action plan. Action plan that is aligned with your values, with your identity and with your habits. All right, so let's dive into the resourceful states. So there's again, so much research about neuroscience and I'm bringing forth to you today. But if you were to understand that we, are, we need to change our thinking, we need to understand that there's two states of being. Resourceful states of being, states like hope, gratitude, compassion, and so on. And this is, of course, not all inclusive list you see here. Survival states, states of being like jealousy, worry, stress, anxiety, right? States that doesn't feel good. What is important is that you're always in one state or the other. You're never in two states of being at the same time. You cannot be angry and grateful at the same time, right? And there's no judgment whether you are in resourceful state or survival state, but everything we wanna create, we wanna create from resourceful state of being. You see, resourceful states actually map to, you, map to your parasympathetic nervous system. When you're calm, when you're surrounded, you're, you're, you're rested, you're relaxed, you're inspired, you're creative, you're energized, right? You want to take action from resourceful state. When you're in survival state, you're in fight or flight, which means your sympathetic nervous system activated. When your sympathetic nervous system activated, you have no access to creativity, problem solving. How important that is for an entrepreneur, right? There are studies that are confirming you don't have access to critical thinking. Your mental faculties are impaired, bottom line. So why is this important? Because one of the things we discovered is that only thing causing you to move into survival state, the only state that causing you stress, anxiety, boredom, uh, impatience, is actually the experience you're having and the meaning you're giving to that experience. 
because emotions affecting your sympathetic nervous system and keeping you in and out of that survival state. And until you make unconscious conscious, changing thoughts alone do not create the results that we want. So resourceful states then closing that gap between you and the intelligence that grading than, greater than yourself. So the question that comes up, right? Like if this is that important, how, how much time are you spending in survival state in a day? Let me see in the chat. Let me see in the chat, how much time? These are like self-reflection, hmm. <laughs> Okay, 70%, how many hours is that? Eight hours, 10 hours, four hours. My kids, my kids, I love that answer. Eight hours, right? No judgment. We can be anywhere in the spectrum, right? So average is four hours a day. And I like to make, I like to do some math because we're all investors, right? We like to quantify things. Four hours a day, let's take the average, four hours a day, 20 hours a week, that's 10, approximately 10,000 10, hours a year. What can you accomplish with 10,000 hours a year? So important, right? As entrepreneurs, we have that roller coaster that's costing us. Yeah. So here's a tool I'm going to give you. So this is not to be all kind of a solution, but a quick kind of uh, you can implement today. And some of you may have seen this uh, with Tony Robbins. I added my own flair to it, number four breath, which I'm going to teach you or talk about it today. So number one is um, physiology, right? We know that when you have a tension in your body, you, you need to move it to somewhere that's productive. By moving it around, what are you doing then? You're resolving, you're releasing, you're re redirecting that energy that is bubbling up inside, right? And that's allowing us to regulate our biology, our psychology, and biochemistry. And the way we use our body, it fixes our emo emotional patterns. We know that. And this also, in my mind, is how we take care of our body, right? Like how much sleep do you get? How, what kind of food do you eat? Do you eat burgers and try to do mindset stuff, right? <laughs> it's a holistic view. How do you take care of your body? Number two is focus. Write this down, focus equals feeling. Whatever you focus on, you're gonna feel more, feel even more. It's true or not true? True, right? If someone is always focused on what they can control, which a lot for us investing entrepreneurs, right? You're miss, you're, 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 how are you gonna feel? Your frustration, worry, right? Helpless. Because guess what? There's always gonna be things that we can control. And there's always gonna be things that we can control. So we need to focus on what we can control in the present, be in the present, be, great, be grateful, and anticipate the future. Number three is words and meaning. I talked about the meaning we give our experiences, very important. And you, how you speak yourself internally, not just out loud, but internally. That dialogue, it's forever, right? Because you can walk away from someone if you don't want to have the conversation. But the conversation you're having with yourself, that's forever. You can't, you can't just you know, pick up and leave, right? So how you talk to yourself, write this down. How you talk to yourself determines how you operate in the world. And also, this is quality of our questions, okay? Quality of your questions equals quality of your life. Because your brain is a search engine. You ask a question like, why this is happening to me? Why this is so bad? This is so bad. This bad thing's always happening to me instead of, okay, what can I do to move the needle forward? What can I do to better the situation? You're like, if, if you're asking the first question, you're likely to feel more powerless, right? Your language determines your emotions. So choose wisely. So number four is breath. 
this is, um, I did a lot of great breath work um, and I cannot tell you enough how much it changed my, uh, my emotions, how I regulate them. Uh, and no matter what, you can use this tool because physiology, you know, you're on a plane, something happens or something going through your head and in public, you can't just say, okay, I'm going to just run in place for 10 minutes, right? <laughs> you can't do that. But breath, well, wow, like I can do that anytime. I can do that right now without even knowing, you knowing it. And the secret to, the, to this is like we're told, oh, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. That's not the secret, okay? The research shows that the breaths that it's in, in, in um, certain uh, rhythms. So for example, uh, 666 method, breath in six seconds, hold six seconds, out for six seconds. What is that doing for you? It is harmonizing your brain with your heart. Okay, resetting your auto, basically you're setting your autonomic nervous system. What we talked about earlier, right? Resourceful states and what was it? Anybody remember? Survival states. Yes, 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 yes. You get the cake today. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, so very important. So, uh, uh, actually, Navy SEALs. I have a military background, so I love you know learning about what military does because <laughs> they have tools. Actually, Navy SEALs use uh, the box breathing. Um, there's an app uh, on iPhone that you can download for that. So, let me know if you have any questions about that. Very important. Okay. So. Now we're gonna talk about uh, switching gears here. So how we actually create the results, right? We set some goals, we look at results, we measure, right? Where are we at? 